back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Pamela. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please kindly join the list squad. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that anytime I upload a video, you will be the first person to see. But period. So if you are a returning subscriber, please. Thank you so much for supporting your girl. Thank you for keeping the link squad going. If this is your first time clicking on my channel, please kindly check somewhere. You will see the red subscription button. And subscribe to my YouTube channel now. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, guys. So, on today's video, we are going to be talking about five things. Five or six. <laughs> five things but i might end up adding more because there are lots and lot of things. we are going to be talking about five things you shouldn't do in united arab emirates thing you shouldn't do in dubai dubai so first thing the one if you see me this is my my daughter <laughs> this is my cartouche <laughs> so if you see me looking at this paper i am trying to like read the points that i've summarized the ones that i checked on google the one things i know you aren't supposed to do here here in united arab emirates we have like seven emirates and we have some emirates that are very very strict like for instance Sarja. so let me keep let me start let me keep Sarja and dubai the, i think uh, the other ones they are not Sarja, dubai and abu dhabi i think those are the most strictest let me let me go straight let me know let me not change topic for <laughs> let me not change our topic for today guys so the first thing you shouldn't do in united arab emirates is to smoke when i said smoking yeah i know here smoking is allowed but there are certain places where you are not allowed to smoke in so i will give you though i will name those places to you you are not allowed to smoke inside a mall like if if you know inside a mall there used to be like a crowd a, a lot of crowd people you can't smoke in the midst of people you are not allowed to smoke in the mall so if it if this is your first time coming to united arab emirates or if you have been here you might be here but still you don't know or if you, if if you are thinking to travel to united arab emirates it's not allowed to smoke in the malls yeah it's not allowed to smoke in crowded area, areas we have places that we have smoking yeah we have places that are, yeah they allow smoking we have places that you can smoke again you are not allowed to smoke inside the car car lift be it car lift taxi metro you are not allowed to smoke in this place and another place you are not you are not allowed to smoke is inside the metro like the fine they would give you a mm -hmm. <laughs> Like the fine they will give you, you would, I don't, I don't think even, even, even if you work here for one year, you'll be able to, to, to pay those fines. Then again, concerning the metro, things you are not allowed to do here in the metro. I, uh, one of my friends, yeah, she paid a fine, unnecessary fine, because she never knew, she was not informed. I learned from her mistake. Like for instance, you guys, you are. Uh, you are about to like you are living from Ariga to Dera. You cannot use one metro card. You it's not allowed to tap and then cross to another side and give your friend, no matter how that friendship is. But you are not allowed to tap your card, then cross and give to your friend to tap the same card. So please always avoid such things because when you're caught they they will find you instantly they don't wait they don't even ask you questions you know you wait in now they are very strict with their laws so please don't let certain things happen to you don't smoke in the metro don't smoke in the malls and don't tap your card don't two people are not allowed to use the same card at the same instance you can use the card today your friend can use tomorrow but using the card like uh, two people using the card at the same time is totally prohibited don't do that because you're going to pay fine another thing that you are not allowed to do here in UAE I've, I've done that one and I'm still regretting why I did it it's stealing like entering the bus illegally 
<laughs> my friend, friend was here watching this. Come and confess. <laughs> Come and confess. We have lots of people here. What especially us is African here. We can be troublesome at times here. Yeah. <laughs> like entering the bus without packing your card. I myself have done that. The, the day they finally caught me and find me. <laughs> Even in even on, even when I'm sleeping on my dream or in my dream, I don't even think of entering a bus without taking my car. You know, like you just go into the bus, you don't, you don't even talk. You will try to act like you're busy. <laughs> that, kind, that kind of thing. You try to act like you're busy or you are searching for your bus, and then you just go and see. Like I, I was entering the secret. I was entering the bus like with two months without talking. Yeah. So don't, don't those things don't try to do them because when you're caught you go down for it. The first time I get caught, that one is the story is coming. I'm, I'll do a story on that one. So let me not give you all the full juice here. Nah, nah, nah. I'm giving you little, little. So please don't steal the boss because when you do such things like that, you'll get fined. When they, when they give you fine, eh, it's not that you pay the instantly. It's when you're going back home for vacation. Imagine when you prepare to go back home for vacation, when you're prepared to go and spend your money, then they will stop you for fine. They will stop you to like you just your small money. Your small money you don't hold until you won't joke. They hold for airport ticket. Your skin is hot for inside, like I said, they mix up. <laughs> they mix up. your skin they mix up inside. So please avoid such things. Most this one I will emphasize most Filipinos they do this as well, but they they are they are few various Africans there. We are we are at times certain stuff that they, they are doing to us, we deserve some of them because it's wrong here very badly. We so over from here, we know here, we know here what. So the next thing that you are not allowed to do, and this one, I think this is the most important. You are not allowed to take pictures of Emirates. You are not allowed to take pictures of government properties. I know taking pictures in the mall is okay, but for instance, like if you see two Emirates fighting, you are not allowed to take. You are not allowed to take pictures of them. When I think if if they caught you taking pictures of Emirates, I think you are deported or you are jailed. I think so. You are not allowed to take it. Don't if you are here in United Arab Emirates or you are thinking to come here. Don't ever take pictures of Emirates. No matter if you see them fight, you know, if you see them argue, just go your way. Don't even find yourself there because at the end of the day, they might put the blame on you. So don't even go there. Don't take pictures of them. I've come across uh, cases like that. There's one because I I used to work. I was working. In, Palm to Mira Atlantis. So there was one day we were going to me and my colleagues. We are going. We are about to resume duty. Yeah. Then around us there was an accident. Then we remove. You know, you want to go. You want to show. <laughs> you want to show that you can. You can. You can, you can gather information. Then we remove our, our cheap phones. Then we started uh, like recording an incident. Immediately we, we received automatic warning from the police. Like the one they. They, they heard us first and then they delete those images from our phone. Like this country, they don't allow, they don't allow bad images, bad things that happen to them. They don't, they don't spread them to the world. Like even when, like when it comes to me, like we said, they have two hundred cases of virus. It might be they have like one thousand cases. They don't like give the world the bad things. They have a lot of bad things here, but they don't give it them. They don't sell it to the world. They always try to spread the good ones. Which for me, I I prefer that one. Not in. One certain Jaguar where I came from, all the we all have all sort of negativity. So let's go straight to another one. The another one I'm going to lay emphasis on indecent dressing. I know this might some of you you usually wear like I for once I like wearing mini minion. I like wearing sexy. I like wearing uh, I like exposing some parts of my body. But in certain places here, like. For instance, when I, when you go to, I think Dera, this way Nak Naki Naki Mall or what more like that, one small market in Dera, you are not allowed to go into that store, with that into that mall without a headscarf. I went there, they sent me out. I have to go outside and buy a headscarf for ten dirham. So please, if you are going to that mall, if you are trying, if you are visiting Dera and you have plans to go to that mall, always make sure to cover your head. And again here in in Sharjah. Those, they don't allow the short dresses. You can wear your long pants, your long trousers, it's fine. But putting on short dresses, uh, me for one, they chased me out. <laughs> they gave me warning. I was going, then they called me, you do. 
I was shy, oh God, because I like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know why I don't like to dress, like, I don't like to call my boss up and I don't know. So I was going in there, the security was coming, you, you, yes, you, I came, they gave me one warning, uh, warning list. They have one, they give me one warning, one message. So please, if you are going into the mosque, try to dress properly. And most especially during this uh, Ramadan period, during this Ramadan period, don't dress like, don't expose your body and be walking around. Don't do that. I've noticed cases like that. I we used we had one customer. That customer, uh, she came. She was from the. She was from I think Canada. She during that Ramadan time, she never knew. So she was in. This is not uh, based only to people who are in Dubai. If you are planning to visit Dubai, bear it in mind. Most especially in Ramadan time, the rules are very strict. So this lady came to our shop. She was almost half naked. Before we knew it, the security called the police. The police came. Then they start interrogating us. They were asking why. They were telling us it was as it is like they was. They said it was our duty to let the lady know that she's not supposed to travel. Like. Why, who am I to stop someone and tell the person that I, the way you are dressing? So please, if you are, I don't know, US, Canada, and, and if you are watching this video, if you think of traveling to the United Arab Emirates, send you dresses are allowed. But at a particular point, you can wear them to your club, you can stroll around, but entering most special public places, it is not allowed. Get that? It's not allowed. You can wear your bikini at the beach. But when you are picking it and run, run, no, boo boo is not allowed. You are going to jail. So the next one, again, the next one, uh, the next thing that I don't, that you should not do in United Arab Emirates is playing loud music. You know, it's very common to see in US, like, I, like for instance, I want to do a demo of one music, I want to dance to the music, like I can go outside, outside, then I dance in the street. No, you cannot do that here. You cannot dance in the street here, like you will go to jail. Except if you are like those interior parts, that push, push side, you know, it's only allowed in those interior, interior, uh, interior parts that the police cannot like you cannot come in contact with the police like you cannot be in Dubai for instance where I used to be in Ariga and then you take your music put in front of the metro you want that you want to dance honey no 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 it's not allowed then again high music in the metro is not allowed if you are playing high music inside the metro metro is trained yeah for people who that who don't know metro is trained if you think of if you want to play music in the metro in the plane put your headset put your earpiece so you can play your music only to yourself. You don't have to play music to the hearing of other people. That one will be prohibited. That one is not accepted. Then again, when it comes to Metro, things you should, you should know, things you should not do. You know Metro, we have this Go class. <laughs> we have this Go class and this general class for everybody. So Go class, you need to have that Go class card before you can, you can, you can like fit into the section of Go class. Don't come with your local, normal card for normal person don't come with a normal car then you go you go straight you walk straight to the gold class uh, uh, go, uh, gold card class go cut yeah go cut section because i <laughs> i did that i did that also you know i came i was running late for my walk i missed my car lift, so i was running late i came chop 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 i just tapped the thing i went into the gold class you know it's strange. I was looking around. Then they, they, they it's scanty. Then they said to me also, if you haven't gone to the group, you can there are people here who don't even know how the the the, 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 the whole class section look like. So I, I was sitting there the way I, I checked a lot of empty seats. I was wondering, I said in a regular day about two PM, this nature is supposed to be full bed. Everywhere is like scanty. Then I was checking. Then I, I started reading. That's why it's, it's always good to read <laughs> education is very important. So I said everything. I said this. this they said this uh, category is for go, uh, go, uh, go people with go card. If you don't have this card, oh, the next station. Let me tell the plane stop. The train stop. Uh, the next say uh, on the next section. I have to leave and go to the regular. People. Good thing I was not caught. But if you are caught, you will pay a fine of hundred dirhams, which is like fifteen dirhams. Uh, fifteen thousand. I don't know what it's about. Maybe have thirty dollars. Thirty dollars or forty dollars like that. So please don't 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 make sure don't enter the go uh, go class when you have the normal basic card for metro. Then one thing again that you don't have to do things you shouldn't do in the UAE is just like not obeying their law, not respecting their laws. 
for instance you know these signals when you, you when you want to cross the road let me say when it's your turn like when is when it is a turn for like normal people uh, people for pedestrians when it's normal turn for pedestrians yeah there's used there used to be this uh green this yeah. there is a green uh, green sign there so at that stage you are allowed to cross but when there's a red sign you are not allowed to cross because when you cross you will get caught by the police and also another thing another concerning road crossing there's one uh, this bridge we call it underpass you don't have to, you have to cross only where you are being allowed to cross you don't have to, no matter how free you see the road don't try to sneak cross because when you sneak cross that road you get caught and you, you are you are being given a fine instant you don't pay now you only pay when you are when you are going back to your country so those are the things you are not supposed to do. Then another thing again that you are not supposed to do. I think that this should be well wide. But here it's very strict. Stealing. Stealing is the worst, worst thing you ever think of doing in this country. If you are a citizen, if you are working in this country, let me see, not citizen. If you came here, like if you came here to hustle for your life, if you came here to better your life, if you are thinking to travel here and work, please erase stealing out of your mind. If you are a thief and you are traveling to UAE, erase it out of your mind because when you get when you steal something from your company you get terminated uh, instantly and so they will even terminate one you put you on blacklist you know what blacklist means blacklist is where you cannot uh, you can never return to that country it will not you are not allowed to visit any arab country so please avoid stealing in UAE. then what again what again it, the, another one the last one that i'm going to talk about is working on tourist visa i think lots of people take this thing for granted but the day you 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 are caught by the police i swear to god you will go to jail and then after that they will repatriate you from your country all these things that i'm saying i speak out of experience i have people my close i, I have people that they have been through this situation if you're here on uh, tourist visa let me say because here when a company high hires you a good company they have to provide your papers before you start working they don't let you to they don't risk you to work before they provide you with your employment visa if you have this company that they insist on you because if they insist on you that you should that you should work before employment visa also let them know that it is not safe because if they if they catch you they will find that company i think fifty thousand dirhams here yeah? then your own punishment is that you will go to jail because they, they assume you're supposed to know they assume you're supposed to know you will go to jail and from there they will repatriate you i've seen that it happened to my daughter which i felt we cried i felt so sad i felt so bad the pains of repatriation is so so bad so please avoid working on tourist visa avoid working on tourist visa so those are the things you should avoid respect their laws don't smoke in public don't smoke in places where they said smoking is prohibited if you are some in, like if you are sitting somewhere always try to read the read look around and read something so that you can learn something from there always try to read so please don't smoke respect their their rules indecent dressing dress properly yes dress properly and uh, don't work on tourist visa don't steal uh, don't use uh, metro card for two people. Don't don't enter the bus for free because when they catch you, you will go down. So guys, thank you so much for staying with me to the end of this video. If you have watched something and liked this video, please kindly share my video. Share it. It might not. I think it might not be beneficial to you, but lots of people like they get fines in this country not because they wanted to do it intentionally, but because they never knew what they were doing. Because there are some things that I used to do. Nobody told me. After I get, uh, after the, <laughs> then that's when I wake up from my, my dream. So please, don't, don't share this video. I repeat, share this video. It might not be beneficial to you, but it might be beneficial to some other people. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, guys. Peace.